This beautiful baby blue boy is Elphadran Aqua. Here is why you need him. Jesus, I wanted to catch him, Lapis. You psychopath. Still not convinced? Let me read you a tale. It possesses a demeanor as pure as its appearance suggests. Perhaps because of this it harbors no ill will in any of its actions and is indifferent. Even after killing someone. Golly gee willikers, Batman, that's unique. Anyways, you won't find this absolute unit in the overworld, so we're going to breed a perfect one instead. But first, let me drop some blue Raz flavored knowledge on ya. Elphadran Aqua is a powerhouse pal. Being both water and dragon type, he offers incredible resistances. Oh, but Blinky, we have Yormantide. Yeah, but Yormantide is level 45 and he can't fly. So like, Elphadran Aqua is a chunky man boasting 115 base HP while still having access to powerful moves like his signature dragon type move, Mystic Tornado and other coverage moves for when the battlefield gets a wee bit too spicy. So you want a perfect one? Well, easy enough. And, and, there's options. You can pick from three builds with this blue king. First, an offensive Elphadran Aqua. We want Ferocious and Musclehead for that juicy attack buff, totaling a 50% increase. Sure, his work ethic goes down a little bit, but his base abilities aren't spectacular. So instead of mining or lumbering, we're assigning him to, uh, destruction. On top of this, we want Swift and Runner for a 50% movement speed buff, which alleviates my one pal world gripe. Moving slower than a one-legged snail through molasses, don't look that up, it's real, I promise. Y'all already know I keep that thing on me with Mystic Tornado, Aqua Burst, Ignis Breath for those pesky grass types that can check you, and whatever other coverage moves you and your team need. But hey, it's your game. Maybe you want to be the star, so a support Elphadran Aqua would be for you. Motivational leader for that sweet, succulent 25% player speed buff vanguard and stronghold strategist for a 10% increase to attack and defense respectively. Finally, we settle on Burly Body for a 20% defensive increase to add that nice film of survivability for our baby boy. Much like a Michelin rated chef drizzling a butter sauce upon a scallop. This little homie packs Mystic Tornado to put room between you and those that would seek to do you harm. Seed mine for a wide area of effect, and if things get too close to you, a little fella will just come up and dragon burst your foes away. The last move, well, that's always a coverage preference. Now, maybe you're a one size fits all type of John. No worries. Simply breed in Vanguard, Swift, Burly Body, and Ferocious. Everyone gets to eat at this table. You could sub out any perk with any perk. This bad boy is custom. <laughs> Like I said before, unlike other fusion pals aside from Suzaku Aqua, we don't talk about that freak, he's one of the few pals only obtainable by breeding, and you don't have to be level 800,000 with enough hours to put your marriage on the brink of extinction. We can get him before level 25 even. <coughs> to make the turquoise terminator, we need two willing participants. First, <laughs> let's get a serpent. You can find them squiggling over here by big boy Jormantide. They're about level eh, 17 here, so it shouldn't be too stressful for you. Also, you can find these little noodles in syndicate cages. First, let's fast travel to Investigator's Fork, then head southeast until you see the blue Raz snakes. Bada bing, bada boom, catch a few. This will help later, I promise. And if you don't have the cows yet, if you TP by the Bushy Boss, located at the Sealed Realm of the Swordsman, then head west, you can get a serpent and cows here. Also, the Bushi boss drops a legendary crossbow schematic too, so like, hey, if you're in town, you might as well do some shopping. You know what I mean? The second participant being Elphadran himself. Luckily, you can find this burly behemoth stumbling around just southwest of Hypocrite Hill. Interesting name here, pal world. But he is level 30. Don't, don't worry though. He's not the Aqua, so he's kind of a pushover. He's a solid dragon type, so any ice pal should be fine. If poaching is more your flavor, head over to the Wildlife Sanctuary number one located here. Once here, start running pockets. Keep in mind though, you're trespassing and the PIDF ain't in the business of issuing tickets. Also, remember that serpent? Well, getting here requires a lot of swimming and the serpent saddle you unlocked and crafted. You crafted that, right? Let's you swim with unlimited stamina. Poach to your heart's content. Wonderful, you've collected your volunteers. You can't see it, but I did the air quotes thing, trust. 
So let's make some quicken babies. I'm hoping you have a breeding pen like a good pal tamer. Toss those bad boys in the air fryer at 450 degrees. Wait, wait, hold on. Wrong script. Um, Toss those bad boys in the pen. Pick the ones with the best perks so we can start passing those right along. This is called line breeding in the real world and something I do with my own baby lizard. What do you think, Habanero? Are you a little fairy dragon? Now's a good time to make sure your cake slaves are set up well. My setup, personally, I have two kindlers slaving over two ovens, and no, they aren't allowed to clock out. Ever. But Blinky, I don't have ingredients, I know. I know, I was also starving for ingredients, but I can help you. Since I'm a professional, I have two farming pens. I've got two bee guards for honeys milling about. I found these lads over yonder. Now, if you're going to grab a few, be warned, they do be spoisy. And will not hesitate to issue you a fast pass to the pearly gate. Grab chickens. I'm not explaining where to find chickens. If you think hard enough, the chickens will just appear. Next, on to the mozzarinas. Same thing here. Go cap the milky lads if you didn't while grabbing the serpents and force them into indentured servitude. Now that we have our gaggle of farm animals, whip each and every one of them into a farm. Sick nasty, bros. I knew you could do it. So, what now? The cakes are baking, the cows are making milk, the kamikaze bees are harboring bad thoughts while making honey and the chickens are committing tax fraud. If you look over yonder, I have the literal god of fire putting on his cake war's best. The machine is in motion. By now, the smell of cake is in the air and the breeding pen is going brr. So what do we do? Well, now we wait. If you threw in our willing contestants before you hunted down your farm animals, the breed meter should be full and you should just be waiting on cakes to produce some eggs. I don't know why cakes. Don't ask me. There it is. You've eaten your tapioca pudding and upon your return, a big, beautiful egg. Congrats on your new Elphadran Aqua. But we aren't here for just any Sapphire Sepator. We want the perfect one. So we need a breeding pair, a male and a female. Now you've got a lovely set of parents. What now? Well, <laughs> now you breed. You should have your cake process mostly automated aside from plugging in recipes. So just let him... <laughs> you may be asking... When I'm done, how do I know progress is happening? Simple, simple, legendary traits. You'll know what traits are legendary because, well, you can't miss them. But Blinky, each parent only has one. Perfect, that's fine. That means the baby will have a higher chance of having two. Now you put that two perked up baby with a little bit of swagger with the better parent. We're going to be cycling a lot of these babies. But don't Spartan kick them into a pit. Simply put them into a blend, uh, a pal condenser, and then you rinse, and then you repeat. The final step, you need 64 of these bad boys, so uh, you're going to need a lot of babies. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do while I wait? I, I don't know. I, I personally decided the silly little flower man needed some smoke. Jesus, I wanted to catch him, Lapis. You psychopath. What I also like to do here is figure out which pal I want to breed next and get that ready. So if you want to see an extra special baby in particular, let me know down below. I'm looking at you, Relaxosaurus Lux. And now here you are. You clicked on this vid trying to get a cutie and now you leave with a WMD so thick the feds are knocking. Or you went with a BFF build, but hey, you did it. It takes a lot of time, but look at how fast this little delinquent can flee the scene. Stonks, dude. Now you get to brag to your friends about how even though you're newly single, you have a badass fairy dragon and how all it costed was your relationship and 222 eggs. Join me next time where I will be turning Lamball into a god.